Chief Justice Tan Sri Richard Melanjum on Monday granted leave to Damansara MP Tony Poa so that the federal court can hear Poa's appeal over a lower court's decision on the definition of the office of the Prime Minister. Malandrum said the dispute on the definition is enough for the case to be heard at the highest court. Two questions will be tried in the federal court, namely whether the Prime Minister or other ministers constitute public officers under the Government Proceedings Act and whether the definition of public officer should be confined to what is stipulated under the Federal Constitution and the Government Proceedings Act. There's always two parts to it. One is I'm in the tort. I can say this particular person who is an officer of the government mm -hmm. or agent of the government or whatever has committed this sort of misfeasance in public office. So that's one issue. But then the question is, even if I find that, establish that he's liable, does that mean that the government is liable vicariously because they're the employer? So there, what the government is saying is that the language is very specific. The power to hold the government liable is provided for by the statute. So you must follow the language of the statute. And that's the argument. So it may be that, you know, uh, just because one doesn't mean the other follows. So I think it's a, it's a, it's a very um, important point. And in fact, the Court of Appeal here also in, in the judgment said that it was timely for the federal court to, to clarify. Last year, Pua sued former Prime Minister Datuk Seri Najib Tun Razak over alleged misappropriation of funds involving state wealth fund One Malaysia Development Berhad or 1MDB. Pua said Najib had abused his public office, citing transactions that took place in relation to the issuance of two bonds for 1MDB and how some of the funds were allegedly transferred to Najib's bank accounts. However, the High Court struck out the suit and this year the Court of Appeal also affirmed the decision. The Federal Court will need to revisit a similar case involving current Premier Tun Dr Mahathir Mohamad, whose suit against Najib was also thrown out because it was decided that the Prime Minister is not a public officer. After being ousted in the May 9th general election, Najib faces a series of criminal charges for abuse of power and criminal breach of trust and money laundering in relation to 1MDB and his former subsidiary SRC International.